Travel Robot Presence Hey, in this video we are going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Egypt. Home of the ancient pharaohs, Egypt is a destination full of dazzling temples and tombs that wow all who visit. It's not all historic treasures and tourist attractions, though. With vast tracts of desert for four Ibidi adventures, the Red Sea's world-class coral reefs and wrecks for divers, and cruising on the famed Nile River, there are plenty of things to do in Egypt for all types of travelers. Beach lovers head to the Sinai or the Red Sea coast to soak up the sun, while archaeology fans will have a field day in Luxor. Cairo is the megalopolis that can't be beaten for city slickers, while Siwa Oasis and the southern town of Aswan offer a slice of the slow pace of the countryside. With so much to see and do, Egypt offers visitors a chance to create itineraries that combine culture, adventure, and relaxation all on one trip. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Stroll in Khan E.I. Khalili Market If you would like to experience a prosperous Cairo, Khan E.I. Khalili Market, been in business since the 14th century, should not be missed. It is also the most visited outdoor market in Egypt. This market is a must-see for a vintage Arab experience, and almost all of the souvenirs can be found here as well. After experiencing the passion of the traders in the Arab-style market and the noise of bargaining, the smell of various spices and a wide range of gadgets, you will definitely linger. From the entrance to the interior of the market, on either side of the road are historic Arab buildings. Even if you don't buy anything, it's a great place to experience the locals' daily lives and take photos. Number 9. White Desert Egypt's kookiest natural wonder is White Desert National Park, out in the western desert, just south of Bahareya Oasis. Here, surreally shaped chalk pinnacles and huge boulders loom over the desert plateau, creating this scene that looks like icebergs have found themselves stranded amid a landscape of sand. This highly scenic environment looks like something out of a science fiction movie and is a favorite destination for four LBD desert trips and overnight camping, which are both easiest organized in Baharia Oasis. For desert fans and adventurers, this is the ultimate weird playground, while anybody who's had their fill of temples and tombs will enjoy this spectacular natural scenery. Number 8. Luxor Temple Luxor Temple, located in the city center of Luxor, once was served as a small holy palace to celebrate New Year. Later, it was gradually expanded and known as the Southern Palace of Ammon, where the god Amun-Ra, the goddess Muth, and the god Kongshu are worshipped. Here you can see the largest collection of Sphinx statues. Moreover, obelisks, see also unfinished obelisk in Aswan, and colonnades with delicate carving patterns can also be seen here. Every May to June, grand sacrificial ceremony is held here. When night falls, the Luxor Temple under the light effects brings a different sense of mystery to visitors. Number 7. Abydos Temple The Temple of Osiris in Abydos is one of ancient Egypt's most fascinating artistic treasures. The temple, begun by Seti I, sits amid a vast necropolis site where archaeological excavations are ongoing. There are various other temple remnants to see here, but for most visitors, the Temple of Osiris is the main reason to visit. Its hypostyle halls, graced by papyrus-headed columns, contain some of the finest relief work in Egypt, with various scenes portraying the pharaoh and the gods of ancient Egypt. As the temple lies north of Luxor, it isn't on the main Nile cruise ship route, so it receives much fewer visitors than the temple sites in Luxor itself and the Nile side. Temples to the south. This means you are often lucky enough to wander through the temple's halls with only a few other visitors on site. Number 6. Visit Egyptian Museum Cairo's Egyptian Museum is one of the world's great museum collections. The faded pink mansion in downtown Cairo is home to a dazzling amount of exhibits. It's a higgledy-piggledy place, with little labeling on offer and chronological order severely lacking. Instead, every corner you turn here is home to some wonderful piece of ancient art or statuary, which would be the highlight of any other museum. The museum's star collection is the Hall of Golden Treasures unearthed from Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings. 
Travelers should note that the Egyptian Museum's swag of riches is in the process of being transferred to the new Grand Egyptian Museum, GM, in Giza, near the pyramid, which is tentatively due to open, after years of delays, in November 2022. The GM will finally provide this world-class collection with a worthy showcase, and the entirety of Tutankhamun's treasures, many of which have been kept in storage for years, will finally be completely on display. Number 5. Overlook Valley of the Kings in Hot Balloon There is no more magical way to start a day than to get out before dawn and enjoy the sunrise of the Valley of the Kings in a hot air balloon, with the entire ruins of Thebes at your feet and the longing for the sky at the same time. The Valley of the Kings is located on the west bank of the Nile, 7 kilometers, 4 miles, from the shore. There are 63 imperial tombs for pharaohs from the 17th to the 20th dynasties. Number 4. Dive in Red Sea in Hurghada Despite the hot and dry desert, Egypt has also been blessed with beautiful coastal scenery, like Hurghada, a beautiful city on the Red Sea coast. Below the Red Sea surface is another world as fascinating as the temples and tombs on land. The coral reefs of the Red Sea are renowned among scuba divers for both the soft corals on display and the vast amount of sea life, ranging from colorful reef fish and nudibranchs to sharks, dolphins, turtles, rays, and even dugongs. For divers, the most famous town to base yourself in is Sharm El Sheikh on the Sinai Peninsula, closest to the reefs of Ras Mohammed National Park, as well as the reefs of the Straits of Tehran. To dive the sites of the Straits of Gubal head to Hergada or El Gauna on the Red Sea coast, while advanced divers should check out the resort of Marsa Alam, the nearest base for diving Egypt's deep south dive sites. Even in winter, the water temperature is around 0 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, making it an excellent diving and snorkeling resort at any time. The water of the Red Sea here is very clear and its color varies according to the depth of the water. Since the Red Sea is rich in marine life, you are expected to encounter dolphin and other species of fish that you cannot see at any other places in the world. Number 3. Cruising the Nile the Nile River is the mother river of Egypt. Cruising the Nile is also the most relaxing way to see the temples that stud the banks of the river on the route between Luxor and Aswan, plus sunrise and sunset over the date palm-studded riverbanks, backed by sand dunes, is one of Egypt's most tranquil vistas. The two famous sites on a Nile cruise are the Temple of Kam Ombo and Edfu's Temple of Horus, where all the big cruise boats stop. If you prefer a less crowded and slower experience though and don't mind roughing it a bit, you can also cruise the Nile by Falucca, Egypt's traditional lake-king sailed wooden boats, which also allows you to create your own itinerary. The vast amount of cruise boat itineraries depart from either Luxor and Aswan, but Falucas can only be chartered for multi-day trips from Aswan. Number 2. Abu Simbel Even in a country festooned with temples, Abu Simbel is something special. This is Ramses Yu's great temple, adorned with colossal statuary standing guard outside and with an interior sumptuously decorated with wall paintings, justly famous for its megalithic proportions. Abu Simbel is also known for the incredible engineering feat carried out by UNESCO in the 1960s, which saw the entire temple move from its original setting to save it from disappearing under the rising water of the Aswan Dam. Today, exploring Abu Simbel is just as much about admiring the triumph of this international effort to save the temple complex as it is about gaping in wonder at Ramses Yu's awe-inspiring building works itself. Number 1. Visit the Pyramids of Giza A visit to Egypt without appreciation of the Pyramids of Giza is not complete. The Pyramids of Giza, the representative of Egyptian pyramids, consists of Khufu Pyramid, Khafre Pyramid, and Menkora Pyramid. All three pyramids were named after the kings who built them. Among them, Khufu Pyramid is the biggest and best preserved. Visitors are only allowed to climb the bottom layers for safety reasons and relics preservation. Moreover, no photos are allowed while visiting inside the pyramid. Today, sitting on the desert edge of Cairo Sprawl, these megalithic memorials to dead pharaohs are still as wondrous a sight as they ever were and an undeniable highlight of any Egypt trip. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. 
and if you like it please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.